Welcome back to EDU 90 and to the fifth season of the series. Since we wrapped up last season in early June, we've been hard at work. We have some great new episodes in store for you this season and lots of product news as we head into the second half of 2019. That's right. We've got lots to share, so we'll be spending these first two episodes highlighting updates from June and July. We'll kick things off on this episode with the latest from G Suite for Education. Let's get to it. Any educator will tell you that the grading and feedback process is one of the most crucial for developing students. Last November, we began beta testing Gradebook in Google Classroom, and based on your feedback, we've now rolled it out to all Classroom users. We also announced the Grade Sync beta, which allows administrators to connect to their Student Information System, or SIS, with Classroom and give teachers the option to push assignments and grades from Classroom to the SIS, eliminating the need for dual grade entry. Our initial launch partners include Infinite Campus and Capita Sims, with many more to come. Sign up today and give it a try. Using rubrics helps teachers set expectations for students and gives them a consistent framework to provide actionable feedback. Now, teachers can create and grade rubrics in Google Classroom. Instructors enrolled in this beta program can create a rubric and attach it to an assignment, giving students full visibility into how their work will be evaluated. Instructors can then use rubrics while grading to select rating levels and give consistent and efficient feedback. Check out the links below to sign up. Starting in August, Locked Mode for Quizzes and Google Forms will be available for all G Suite for Education users on managed Chromebooks. This mode prevents students from navigating away from their assessments until they submit their answers, which helps them to focus during quizzes and encourages academic integrity. And speaking of Google Forms, we know that educators often use questions from previous forms they've created or forms shared for editing by fellow educators. We've just added a feature that lets teachers import questions they've previously used into new forms. So instead of spending time on recreating assessments for students, teachers can spend time providing specific comments and feedback to those same students once assessments are completed. To round things out, we also released the Chromebook App Hub, a new way to explore apps to use in the classroom alongside ideas from your peers. We'll explore this new resource with a full episode next month, but check out the links in the description below to learn more in the meantime. That's all the time we have for this episode, but we'll be back with our second round of updates next week, including Code with Google and the new G Suite certification for students. We'll see you then. Looking for more EDO90? Check out our playlist for episodes on everything from G Suite to computer science to Chromebooks.